So is it true that God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner? Well, yes, in one sense. But think about it with me. Does God hate the sinner? And this is so key to understanding the cross. Because God's holy hatred of sin, His holy wrath to sin, is not just for sin, as if sin were something outside of you and me. Sin's not outside of us, ladies and gentlemen. Sin is at the core of who we are. So let us be careful not to lean on comfortable Christian cliches that may just rob the cross of its meaning. We're sinners. God is holy, possessing holy hatred toward sin and sinners. At the same time, God is loving toward sinners. So how can God show both wrath and love toward sinners? That is the question of the Bible. It's the ultimate question of the universe. And the answer is the cross. For at the cross, God shows the full extent of His wrath. Does God hate sin? Look at the verbs in this passage. Son was marred, despised, rejected, stricken, smitten, afflicted, wounded, crushed, chastised with brutal stripes, oppressed, afflicted, slaughtered, sheared, crushed. Does God hate sin? Yes. Does God hate sinners? Show wrath towards sinners? Yes. This was all done in our place. At the cross, God shows the full extent of His wrath. And, and, and at the cross, God shows the full extent of His love. He does all of this in love for sinners. In mercy towards you and me. Does God hate sinners? Yes. Look at the cross. Does God love sinners? Yes. Look at the cross. That's a scandal of grace.